Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got another showdown, summer showdown SBC yesterday in FIFA Ultimate Team, and I'm going to talk about that as well as things you can see today in this game of FIFA coming up on a Tuesday during summer heat. Tuesday is often a voting day, so we'll talk about that, possibilities for that voting SBC or player pick vote that we could see today. Possibly a party bag. It hasn't been put in the code yet, but we've been getting like the party bag SBC around this time too. So if they're going to do a party bag SBC, maybe it comes today. Maybe it'll come in the days prior to this, but that's something you should have on your radar as well. And of course, talking about the Vinicius Jr. Because this card made waves today in FIFA Ultimate Team. This is a legendary card for me, being one of the best cards that I ever packed in FIFA 19. I packed his uh, Future Stars card, the famous clip of me mispronouncing his name. And so, this card is something I will definitely be doing. And honestly, uh, I wouldn't shy away from doing Machis as well. 283 rated squads for this guy. Kind of looks like a Ben Yedder-esque card. Looks very, very good uh, with a good chem style. Uh, this guy looks fantastic as a, as a super sub, and it's very grindable at this stage of the game as well with these upgrade packs that are out right now in FIFA. We'll talk about those a little bit as well because those, this pack right here especially, the 85 to 92 pack upgrade is really taking over this game right now and everybody's doing it. And I think you should be in, in that as well. If you want to do more SBCs, if you've got some coins to mess around with, uh, you can definitely do some of those. And then also today we're going to talk about some trading methods and just watching, showing you guys some card fluctuations to make coins right now um, on this game because I made some coins today. It's very easy to make coins on FIFA right now because less people are on and um, that just means less competition on the market. So it's easier to find undercuts, snipes, and get open bids. So we'll talk about that. But again, this SBC today, Vinicius Jr. The interesting game thing about this Summer Showdown game summer showdown game the interesting thing is that this is going to be played on monday we have to wait a whole week for this game to even happen and then what wait another two days for the upgrade to take place so i wish they kind of would have chosen maybe a game earlier this week some people have asked me could they do a second summer showdown sbc later this week i don't think that's really possible i'm pretty sure on the ea website it says they're doing one per week during this promo uh so i don't think we'll get another one but this card is massive, right? Uh, outside the foot shot, the flare trait, a Vinicius Jr. card, a fan favorite, another Real Madrid player. I think it's so interesting. We keep getting these Real Madrid players. Uh, and of course, this comes out just after the Ribery SBC comes out as well. But a card that a lot of people want to do looks like a really good, like, absolute wing player. I'm really pumped to use this card. I might actually try him out. Um, as you know, like a 4-4-2 as an outside mid because I love the 4-4-2 formation in FIFA and this card would fit the outside kind of wing position perfectly with his stats that he has and stuff like that. So I'm going to give him a try. I'm probably going to do Machis as well. And just to give you a glimpse at what these cards could look like after they do get the plus three upgrade, uh, of course, we're, we're focused on Vinicius here because Real Madrid is most likely going to win this game. Vinicius is going to go to 95 rated. He could have some stats uh, like this with 99 shots, like a plus two shooting, plus three on the shot, or plus two pace, plus three shot, plus four pass, plus four physical, plus two defense, and plus three dribble is what this concept has. This is by uh, Simple Blue 88 aka Patrick, on Twitter. Uh, but this is a really, really cool looking upgrade for Vinicius. Of course, if somehow... Um, you know, Machis and the big boys at Granada are able to pull off this win. That would be incredible and a major upset. And a lot of people would be sad they didn't do this card. So what I would say is if you like the concept of either of these two, all right, get yourself into FIFA, do a couple 85 to 92 upgrades, and you're going to be able to craft both of these SBCs very easily. Because again, Vinicius is right now, I think like 240,000 coins uh, with the two 85 rated squads, kind of high chemistry. This is the SBC I'm not sure I understand. What is the point of turning... The only requirement is five chemistry. You're literally just having us go buy bronze cards? Is EA just having us do this to clear our clubs out of more cards? I don't know what is going on with this mixed squad right now. It's literally pointless. You're just turning in 11 players. Uh, five chemistry is, is literally impossible to get lower than like 10 chemistry or 11 chem. I don't even know what the lowest amount of chem is, but... I don't understand what that mixed squad is. We have it here as well for Machis. It really does not make sense for me. But uh, by th these cards, regardless, are very, very easy to craft from these upgrade SBCs. And it, 
Again, these upgrade SBCs are like some of the best content we've ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team, especially at this stage of the game where we have SBC after SBC after SBC coming out. And people also want to grind the Prime Icon upgrade. So they have all of that availability to do all of that with these SBCs right here. And they're very easy to do. And with all the special cards and packs, it's honestly crazy. It is honestly crazy right now on the market. Again, I'm going to keep reminding you of this. But the only thing I would say, if you're thinking about like going broke, just take it easy because we are going to be having batch three, probably including team of the season cards. If those packs are out during team of the season, or if you're going to stack some of those packs for when batch three comes in like 10 days, those 85 to 92 packs and the 84 double plus could be insanely OP for team of the season cards when those are re-released back into packs. Just something I want to give a heads up to you guys about. Uh, and yeah, I want to talk about the rest of this market too, because a lot of stuff is fluctuating around. Rio Ferdinand. I bought this today at 1.1 million coins, sold it at 1.2. I tweeted about it. I actually started messing around with a few icons. I bo bought both of these at uh, 400 and 400,000 coins, basically. And I've got some other cards that I'm kind of just flipping as well. But I started to look at icons again, because a lot of stuff when Vinicius came out, every day they drop a new SBC that is somewhat hype that a lot of people want to go out and do. You see a lot of panic selling around that 6 to 7 to 8 p.m. time frame on this game because people have to go sell cards to do whatever SBC it is that came out because fodder is so expensive right now that people just can't go willy-nilly do an SBC. They have to go get uh, some funds to be able to afford that SBC. So I've just been looking at some of the icons and the fluctuations. This uh, Del Piero was down to like 650, 640. This Essien was actually up today when I was looking at him. Uh, he was like 900 all week last week. So I've been watching a lot of icons today just because, you know, it kind of brings back the memories of me trading with these cards a lot earlier in the year. Kind of miss it a little bit. So these are fluctuating a decent amount. I'm trying to watch these prices, find some deals if I can, and, uh, and kind of going from there and just learning these prices as well. I feel like after watching these cards for, you know, the past few hours, at least just checking on my companion, Comparing price and, and adding cards to my watch list, I've really learned the prices for about 15 to 20 cards in literally just an hour or two um, from watching a couple of them sell, watching them you know slide through, watching open bids. So that is a very, very good way to trade right now, especially even with these out of pack team of the season cards. I've been talking about this all the time. The young today was 580 and now he's up to 650. Wow, man. I did not expect this guy to rise that fast, but the, the Dembele hype is real. What about Suarez? Is he like over 700 a bunch? This guy was like 670. Wow, Suarez really isn't up that much. So the young links to Dembele are much more important to people than the Suarez links, even though they're both, both Barcelona. Interesting. That is very, very interesting to me. But watch, I would say, watch some of that La Liga stuff continue to rise up in price this week with another La Liga SBC with Vinicius coming out yesterday and stuff like that. And then even today, Today, we're probably going to get another league-based voting player pick, right? We had League Un with Kempembe the week before last. And then we also had Serie A with Christian Eriksen. Those have been our two league picks, right? The last voting we had was for Usman, St. Maximin, and um, Monier. And those that was a position change vote. So I think this time, it's either going to be Bundesliga... Or the Prem, because I don't think we've had the Prem vote, have we? The Firmino, the Firmino SBC, maybe the Firmino was a Prem vote. So maybe we're going to see a Bundesliga uh, vote. Could be, could be Bundesliga or La Liga. Honestly, they could really hammer us with La Liga. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens today at 6 p.m. UK. But I would expect Tuesday, today, to have some sort of vote uh, for another Summer Heat player vote to happen in the game today. Probably another... Um, pack supply pack as well those have been coming out just about every single day today i think we had a double 83 plus the bundesliga challenge was our uh was our pack supply today which is actually untradeable pack supply um and that means you know they were trying to supply fodder right into people's clubs if you did that pack but sbc fodder is still very very high shout out to the main man vinicius and 83s are very very high because of machis as well 83s are 4.5 to 5k a piece 84s are inflated, 7 to 8K, 9K for some of them. 85s are at 11 to 12, 86s are at 18. So yeah, SBC fodder is back to being inflated. And that is another reason why people are just grinding the heck 
out of that 82 or 85 to 92 SBC right now in FIFA. It's very, very easy to do. You can even go from bronze pack method. You can grind the bronze upgrades, the silver upgrades, and then get rare golds and then go into the 84 plus or use your non-rare golds and go to the 85 to 92. You can definitely grind it that way. And if you guys want, I can make a video on that showing you how to do it in different stages, depending on how much you actually want to grind with your time or if you just want to buy some of the players. So if that has interest to you, drop a like on the video or say something in the comments because I can do that later this week for sure because I know a lot of people are curious about crafting these upgrades. But just looking at them from a price range standpoint, 14,000 coins for an 85 to 92 rated player. If you look at the price of 85s right now, 85s, most 85s are 12K or above. Look at all these 85s, 13, 14,000 coins. Basically, it's all a break even or gain situation for this SBC. It's 14,000 coins. The lowest rated player you could get is an 85. And 85s, a lot of them are close to 14K. If you hit 86, you know, that's 18 to 19, 20,000 coins. And if you hit a 92 rated card, you're looking at upwards of 60,000 coins of card value for that rating that you're getting untradeable. So that's kind of the big draw for this. And it's actually not 14K. Like you can do that for way cheaper if you do grind. Uh, the 84 double plus costs a little bit more because there's no rating cap at the top. But this 85 to 92 is really, really the one to grind right now in FIFA. I mean, I'm going to be doing a bunch of these packs later on this week on the live streams and stuff. Just because I think doing a set of like 11 of these, 10 of these, I will be able to do probably most of Vinicius with two squads and also get a start on Usman Dembele from just a small handful of these with also maybe buying a few like 82 or 83 rated cards, hopefully just 81s or 82s. Uh, crafting like those 85, 84 rated SBCs and maybe even 86, 87 rated SBCs from that upgrade pack because this upgrade right now is just what everybody is doing and I think you should be doing it too. Uh, again, just be careful with your coins at this stage of the game because if this upgrade is out for the next week, for the next time these cards are in packs, I would say if you're, we'll talk about this as they're about to expire, but since we have batch two in packs for a few more days, what I would say is, Maybe as we get towards the end of those upgrade packs being out and their time expiring, maybe stock up on a set of like 15 to 20 just in case they don't get re-released. Because what we saw during batch one was EA re-released the 82 to 88 and the 81 double plus upgrade. They re-released the, with the same SBC. They basically just copy pasted it for another week. Hopefully they do that with the 85 to 92, but I feel like EA, EA might take it away just because they see how op and how good it is for a lot of people on this game but these upgrade sbcs this year have been taken to another level during this promo so i don't know if they just took the wheels off the training wheels for jamie foot economist and his ideas for this market and for this content but hey whatever is happening during this summer heat promo i hope and i pray that it continues at least in some way shape or form like this summer showdown stuff you don't have to give us one every single week at the beginning of fifa next year just give us one every other week, right? That would be fine. One every other week would be totally fine. That would be a step up and a new way to get a new card every single week. That would be pretty cool. It's like ones to watch almost with these cards um, because they have real life implications. But they also have been, you know, putting some pretty interesting matchups in here. This one's the most curious to me. I mean, we could have Arsenal and, and Tottenham. We could have had some of the other matchups that I previewed yesterday in the video, uh, but we'll still still take it because this Vinicius card looks dope. The reviews are flying in saying that he is a very, very insane card. So that I am pretty hyped about. And I think my team is going to be changing every single week with all these new cards coming out. The, the Panini, the club collecting Panini is looking very, very good at the moment. A lot of new cards are being uh, released into the game. So that is cool. But again, if you're trying to trade right now, open bids, out of pack special cards, I wouldn't mess around with the impacts foot birthdays that much. Yes, they're going to fluctuate, but probably they're going to head it downwards for the most part. Uh, St. Maximin's down today, 780, down like 30K, 40K from yesterday. Lala, during the 6 p.m. UK, uh, 7 p.m. UK time frame today, during the content drop, this guy was down to like 460, 470, went back up over 500, and is now back down in the 460, 470 range. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Desai again was 400k today. Oop, we're gonna add that to the transfer targets right there. This guy was 400,000 coins earlier today, and right now he is back up in the 440s, 450s. 
where I sold him. He fluctuates on the daily. Just start watching a lot of icons, middles, babies, um, anything that is really meta that people want to use, especially if it's out of packs. It is fluctuating right now at this time. What is Benzema? Benzema is actually 500,000 coins. So this guy went up like 40, 50K today. Maybe he didn't actually, never mind. So I don't know what that 500K bid was, but it looks like he's 480. So he's up maybe like 20 to 30K from where he was last night, um, just because of that SBC Vinicius that came out today in FIFA All of the Team. If you guys haven't been grinding the objectives as well, again, another reminder, if you're not gonna use these guys, which I probably will not use them, maybe in Babu, but these guys are very easy to do, very grindable for an 80, a 93 and a 92 rated SBC fighter card at the very, very least. And maybe we get another objective player today as well. I know there's only 10 days left in the season, but I feel like that's enough time for EA to drop another objective player, kind of like a Bruno Fernandez or a Furlan Mendy, just somebody that we could grind to over a few days. So I hope they do release one of those along with a pretty hyped up uh, SBC vote today, summer heat vote player pick. That's what we'll be looking for around the content time today. Again, if there is voting that comes out, what we saw last week was Usman and um, St. Maximin, both of their top special cards in game took a big tumble in price because people thought that they were going to win the vote and their card was going to go down. If we get another very meta type card today in uh, the player pick, if it is released today, that could be something that we see happening on the market as well. So just keep an eye out for that and those market movement so if you enjoyed this video today smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace